Hey everyone, welcome. Something positive I've seen uh, very recently and um, about architecture. And I really like it because I, I could say I was doing this back in the 90s and I was, but it's amazing, you know, it's uh, what, 2014 now and, and I don't see this done very much. It's, it's, uh, it's interesting. So uh, I want to talk about, for better or for worse, uh, where I bank. I bank at Wells Fargo. Uh, when do I go to the bank? Hardly ever, because right? I don't want to go into, you know, the branch and wait in line, and there's really nothing I need to do in there anyway. So, what do I do at Wells Fargo? Well, I pretty much do everything online now. I've been, I don't even know how many Christmases I've not walked into a store to buy anything. I've set everything up on Wells Fargo too to pay my bills and and they alert me about things, you know, about bank accounts and things like that. So. Pretty much the only time I go to Wells Fargo, especially now, um, purely consulting work, um, is do deposit checks. <laughs> That's all. A couple months ago, I walked up to the uh, Wells Fargo ATM. And ATMs, so up until now, software's not really been that awesome, you know? And, um, and you know, I, I wouldn't say I used to get joy, but I used to watch people, even where I live, which is a very affluent area, trying to use an ATM machine. And uh, never seen it work very well. So is that the fault of the uh, uh, user, the consumer, um, the intelligence? Maybe a little bit. A lot of it's the software. Because if you think a little bit and make the software usable to pretty much everybody, uh, it'll be a lot better. A couple months ago, I walked up to my Wells Fargo ATM down at my grocery store. That's where I go, and um, I uh, put in my card, put in my PIN, and um, and I, I noticed the user interface. User interface, for those of you who don't know, is what you see in software. And um, I noticed the user interface was a little bit different. I go, hmm, okay, well they updated it, and uh, then big button I couldn't miss that said do you want to deposit your checks from whatever they call that thing you stick the checks into into this account I go wow it remembered what I did the last time I was here and uh, <laughs> I go yes press a button return card done that's it I was gone out you know for me, being a little more technical business people, that I loved it. And uh, I haven't talked to anybody besides my geek friends about that, but I, I'm interested to see what they think. So, um, or if they even noticed. So, uh, so every Sunday or whenever I go down, get some groceries, put, put in my checks, I'm welcomed with, not welcome, but I see this, all, this reminder of something that somebody designed correctly for a change. So of course it gets me frustrated because the only software that does that is my ATM machine. <laughs> does uh, my Mac do that? No. Does my Microsoft machines do that? No. Does any app I can think of I actively use at least on a weekly basis do that? No. <laughs> this kind of messes me up because I know it's possible. And once I know it's possible, and out there, then I think, why don't everybody else do this, right? It's, it's our jobs as software engineers, your life easier, that's all we do, right? A computer is just zeros and ones, and it just goes faster than our brain does. That's all it is. If you don't have Wells Fargo, um, ask your friend who has, and go check it out, it's awesome. 